Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. We're back in our hardcore survival world. We have not died. This is a good thing. But we have made some improvements. So, I did a little play-in when I was off screen. Got a little wood. We can see a new building out there. We're going to talk about that in a minute. And what I really wanted to do is two things in this episode. One, show you the new stuff I've done. And two, today is the day that we get us a horse, dude. We got that saddle from fishing, and we need a mighty, mighty steed, and we're going to get one. So let's just put all this stuff back real fast, and then I will show you our new stable, and also we need our saddle. There it is. Let's go. Uh, new kitty still does not have a name. I don't know what to name it yet. Bane. Bane's all gravy, dude. He's just hanging out. Hope everybody's having a great day today. I uh, haven't been uploading as much just because there's been a lot of work stuff going on and a little stress. So we're we're hanging in there. It's all good. So this is the stable. This is where we will house our new boys. Look at it, dude. So it's got two chambers. Um, we're obviously going to have to seal our horse in here because I don't have what we need to make a tether. So there's some hay bales here. You can go up top. And uh, this is where we store the extra hay. And hey, look at that. Oh, it's starting to rain. Please do not thunderstorm. And it also gives us a good view of our farms, which I have improved. I added the wood there, added a little symmetry, made the chicken pen over there bigger. So let's go harvest our farm. It's pretty functional now, which means we're getting... Oh god, don't throw the eggs, dude. Be careful. You don't want to throw the eggs if you're not prepared to hatch a chicken, which we were not. All right, let's. Oh, there's some eggs in here. So apparent, I, not apparently, the method that we'll use to keep our chickens stocked is to run in here, grab the eggs, and then throw them. We hatched one, two, and that's two. Uh, when you throw an egg, you have a chance of hatching one, two, or I even think three chickens. Uh, I did harvest these potatoes, and then I realized, hey, I should probably show you guys what my harvest is like. So I stopped. So what we're going to do here is harvest, and we got a little pumpkin there. Uh, we already did the potatoes, so let's move on to this one here. So I just run down the row. We definitely want to grow as many potatoes as possible because those baked potatoes are a godsend. So you'll harvest all your potatoes, and you'll replant all of them immediately. And you'll see when we're done, we're going to have extras. 31 extras, actually. And this will happen for everything. Beets are a little different because they give you seeds and the beets, and you'll replant the seeds. And grain does the same thing. It gives you the grain and also the seeds to make more grain. And we kind of need to plant lots of grain, so let's plant these first before we do the seeds. So we got our beetroot seeds there, you see, and we have two little, two little wheat there. So our wheat farm, slow but sure. We'll get there. One little piece of wheat at a time. So we're just going to take the beet seed, beetroot seeds, plant them right back. And then we'll move on over here to the other farm. And that would be more carrots and beets, dude. Carrots are easy because you just replant a carrot. Right? So you get a whole bunch of carrots out. And you can just replant a ton. And we have a ton of carrots now. So let's just keep planting them. Carrots are going to be useful. Uh, piggy boys like carrots. There you go, bud. Yep. And he's all happy now. And animals will follow you around, of course, like we did with the chickens. When you have what they want. See, I give seeds nothing so because we have these extra beetroot seeds we can actually take them oh my god look at that stallion i think that's it dude that's our black beauty uh you can take the seeds and you could feed them to the big chickens and they'll make more baby chickens and then as soon as you have fed all of your big boy chickens you can start feeding the baby chickens and if you feed them they'll grow into big chickens kind of like using bone meal on a farm some take a lot so that, that boy took a lot of seeds, but then as soon as you feed them and they become big, you can feed them again and they'll breed again. So eventually, this whole pen will be filled with tons of chicken. So, look at all this, dude. Baked potatoes, carrots, beets, grain. Things are going super great here in the world. Oh, and I finished the roof. Look at that. No giant hole. So we have no giant gap in our teeth up there. And I put in a back door. Look at that. 
Who would have thought? So we come over here to our furnace. We're just going to drop in our taters. And we have some over here. Look at that, dude. 39 baked potatoes. And you notice that little ding there. So whenever you smelt things, um, you actually get experience points, which is pretty cool. And look at all this food. We have all these eggs, too. Oh, let's go throw all of these eggs, dude. And eggs are a little special in that they only will be in stacks of, uh, what is it, 16. So a lot of stuff's in 64, but eggs are in 16. You know, just a little Minecrafty trivia for you. So let's just throw all these in here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Boy, these eggs are stingy, dude. We only got one baby out of that. Oh, but we still have these. See, there's one. Oh, that one might hatch two. That one was one. Just try not to smack the poor boys and girls. And now the horse. So to, to win the horse over, we're going to use this apple. Now I'm not sure we actually need the apple. I think what you do is you mount the horse or you feed it the apple. Then you mount it. And then you open your your horse inventory here somewhere. How do I open the horse inventory? There it is. So you push X to open the horse inventory. Then you pop a saddle on that bad boy. And now you have yourself a mighty steed. Oh, sorry. Get back on. And if you push jump and hold it, you see the little charge bar. He'll actually jump higher or not as high if you hold and charge that. And this will allow... Let's see how fast we can run to the village. There is one test I wanted to do. I wanted to go down through the tree path and then see how fast we can go to the village, if we even fit. See, dude, look at this. We're just charging right along, no problem. And you can see I put little beams here to prevent the tree growth, which has worked just fine. This is what I'm worried about. Oh, we went right through it. And we're just waiting for these tree boys to grow, which they're not. But look at that, dude. We're here. We can go to church if we want. We can visit our friends, the traders here. We don't have any emeralds yet, but we will. Don't you worry. We will. So let's go put our horsey boy back. Look at him, dude. I thought he was black, but this dude appears to be pretty brown. Now, in a perfect world, we would have a lead, right? And a lead uh, is something, I believe you can fish for it, you can find them. Um, but to build one, you need some leather and you need a slime ball, which are pretty hard to come by. So let's put him over here in this one. So just so he has a bit of a view. And then we're actually just going to put up a little fence. So, hey, buddy. Hey. Come here. Hey. I, I, I need you to stay inside because I don't want you to get hurt. So we're just going to do that and then put up a little extra protection. This should keep out the spiders, I think. They might be able to squeeze through there. I'm not sure. I don't want to take any risks. Let's just cage him in. Just so he's safe. I would be super sad if our new horse got killed. And we could do the same trick here where we put the carpet on the fence. But for now, I think we're just going to leave this boy in there and we're going to break it down when we need it. Oh, oh man, is that one stuck in there? Crud. You know what? I don't need that one, and I ain't breaking that fence to get it. So there he is, dude. Look at look at how cool he looks. He's brown. He's like a chestnut mare, dude. We eat one of our potatoes. Oh, so good. I use baked potatoes exclusively on the server. Sometimes if I have a stack of meat, I'll use it, but it's usually always potatoes, dude. And let's just add in our other gate here. We could put up a gate, but he's fine. Maybe he needs some hay. We could put some hay in there. Yeah, let's do that. We're not monsters. So we'll go up here. Grabs ourselves a hay bale. Take it down to our horse friend. Close that. Peek through the window. Hey, buddy. Here you want. Where do you want your hay at? Right there. 
Can I can I poke in there and oh let's see. There it is. Does he actually eat it? I don't know. Well, there you go. Now you have some hay. And we've got a horse, dude, which means we can explore a lot. Although I, a little scared to do that without a lead. Uh, oh, because we have a pumpkin. And don't I have a few pumpkins? Oh, I do. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make a jack-o'-lantern. It is almost Halloween time, which is super nice. And maybe what we should do is make a quick pumpkin farm, dude. So let's drop a few jack-o'-lanterns. Let's drop a few. So we're going to put one there. Uh, we'll put... Oh, crap. No, that's, that's bad. <gasps> I should have went to bed. Now we have Endermen and Creepers. God dang, dude. Okay, please don't blow up. Oh, shit, my chickens. Oh, this is bad. Okay, okay, everybody. Everybody calm down. Uh, just let me get my dirt ready. Please don't leave. Please don't... Hey, you guys. Hey. Oh, I need some seeds. Uh, okay. So, this is going to be a little tricky. So, what we're going to do is uh, crash course in jack-o'-lanterns. So, when you... If you use shears on a jack-o'-lantern, or on a pumpkin, you get seeds. And these should be enough to lure my chicken boys back over here. God, creepers, dude. Every time. Okay, see? Here we go. All right, everybody. I'm going to repair. I am so sorry. Hey, get out of there, bud. Thank you for getting out of the hole. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is so crappy. This is not something you want to do at night. Look, almost all my chickens are gone. Okay. Hey. Hey guys, come on, no chicken left behind, oh my god, well maybe one, because now there's a creeper over there, alright, let's go Peter Piper all these boys, come on, come on, everybody in, everybody in, is that everybody, okay, so we're going to go over here, we're going to quickly drop these fences, oh my gosh, Although now we can't get out. Oh yeah, we can. Here's our here's our hatch. Look, they got so scared that they laid all these eggs. So uh, you know, here's our pumpkin. We can actually harvest it. And then our inventory, if we use a lantern, we can make a jack-o'-lantern. And then if we plant it, boom! Look at that. Light source. In fact, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna make a lot of jack-o'-lanterns. And we're going to use them all as a light source. Because that was ridiculous, man. I freaking hate creepers. How many times have creepers, like, ruined my day in this game? So many. So we carve the pumpkins with the shears. Then we pop them out. And then we just make a fat stack of jack-o'-lanterns. Seven. And then we have eight pumpkin seeds. So we can make a pumpkin farm. So let's see. We're just going to pop these boys all around the perimeter. Let's see. We're going to put one here. And they're bright too, dude. Put one there. There's a creeper in there, right? Oh my god, there's a lot of monsters in there. Mm -hmm. We might actually take advantage of that. Get some EXP maybe. And then if we break grass, sometimes you get seeds. And grass is kind of unsightly. So we're just going to put another boy there. And these things light up the world, dude. There you go. We're going to put one over here. Yoink. And then over here is not defended at all. So we'll put another one there. And then another one there. And then we'll put one over here. Just to protect the, uh, the water. Boom. Look at it, dude. Now we have an effective, super lit up area. Let's go take a look at it from above. I can't believe that freaking creeper. Look at it. Welcome to Halloween Town. So I see another creeper over there. And you know what? I'm feeling frisky. I'm not sleeping tonight. I'm fighting tonight. So. I see you, buddy. 
So we're going to crouch down to put up our shield. If he hits us, no big deal. We'll take a shot when he comes close. And just keep doing that. And that is the safe way to fight. So who's next? We see the sugar's coming in. It's good that we've been harvesting it and then replanting it. Come on, spider. Spiders, I'm not even really worried about. You know what? I'm so brazen while I'm out here. I'm going to harvest all of this stuff. So you just harvest the top two layers. That's it. And how much do we have? 22, dude. We can build a lot of sugar canes after today. So there's another creeper boy over there. There's a zombie. So one thing to note is that creepers do not despawn like the zombies. They don't catch on fire during the day. I hear, I hear you too, spider. Boy, we are we are getting frisky out here tonight, dude. Let's hope this doesn't get us killed. You never know. Because this creeper is close, but I'm going after him. Come here, creep. Oh, mistake. Well, he made the water deeper. You gotta be careful of that knockback on creepers. If you can't stay, like, moving on top of them, man, they'll get you. But our whole path is lit up now. That's nice. And most importantly, we have a gigantic hole of turds down here. And there's a creeper too, right? Hey, guys. So we can kind of just actually... Can we sit here and smack him? Oh, God, we can't get close enough. That's fine. Why don't you boys come up? I could use a bow. Or I could jump down there. Or I could let him come up to me. I could use some leaves to do it. Can you plant leaves in the water? Let's find out. You can. There you go. There's a little... There's a little ledge for you boys. Come on up. One at a time, please. One at a time or I'll jump down there. Okay, I guess I'm going down. Well, this isn't cheating or anything. I call this tactical. Although I thought I saw a creeper in here. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, that's not him. Just more turds. How many people are under there? How deep is this water? I should really look behind me soon. Wow. That was a lot of dudes. There must be a lot of water down there. Here's another one. I am like sitting on like some kind of underground lake. Which is fine for me. Ooh, that experience though. Do I want it? I got it close enough. Okay. And we're just going to break that so they can't come back up. Ooh, there's a baby boy in there too. Okay. I guess we're going to have to fight that one. Well, here, let's put that down there. Maybe he comes up for a little rodeo. Hey. Where'd he go? Come on. Come get it, dude. Oh, I trapped him. <laughs> All right. There you are. These are the fast ones. Come on, dude. You know what? Fine. Stay down there. You get to survive the day. I see some friends on the beach. We're just going to leave those guys alone. And boy, was that a rough night. Holy cow. Creeper explosion. Wow, we got a zombie villager over here. This water is just housing a lot of nasties. Jeez. And we got a horse. That, my friends, is what you call a productive-ass day in Minecraft. And look at all these eggs. And the chicken coop is almost all repaired. Got a ton more eggs to throw. We're gonna eat. Watch, watch, watch how many... See how many food I got from that baked potato? Three, dude. That is super great. So... Things are going well in the world. We are developing. We are cultivating. We have 
Lots of friends now. Our farms are moving. We got a horse boy. And let's build a pumpkin patch. Now, pumpkins are cool because they don't require you to replant them. So you plant it and it kind of just grows a vine and you just keep harvesting it, dude. And you can do that with a watermelon, too. So let's see, I have eight pumpkin seeds. I don't think I have nearly enough wood to make the farm I want. Or dirt. Where's all my dirt? Do I really not have any dirt? Wow. For once in, like, the universe, I don't have any dirt. How lame. Fine. Let's go grab some dirt real fast. We need some sand anyway for our newly acquired um, sugar cane over there. Sugar cane is useful because it allows you to make paper, which will allow you to make things like maps and books. And so we're just going to get all this dirt. Oh, this is clay, I believe. Clay, I haven't messed around with too much. I know I'll let you make pots and maybe bowls, but other than that, I haven't really done much with it, to be honest with you. So we're coming here to get the sand and the dirt. And I think we actually have enough to do what we want. Let's just pick this up. Come on, dirt. How much do we got? It's 14. Let's see, we got eight, eight pumpkin seeds. Eh, let's just grab a little more. Why not? We're here. There we go. That should be plenty. And uh, one thing to note is you can sprint underwater. You swim faster. That's basically it. And there are enchantments you can get that allow you to do that as well. But for now, we're good. There we go. We have enough. So step one, let's go build up our beach around the, uh, around the lake over here. And I'm just going to remember what my jump button is. And that's it. Now it's important to note that with sugarcane, uh, you can only build on the, you can only plant on the sand that's touching the water. Now you might be able to use dirt for this too. I am not sure, actually. And I keep planting those way too far out. Why do I keep doing that? I want one layer around the lake, dude. On the server, I just run like, I just run it straight out and make a big line. And that's what I use. But for this, we're going to do it this way. There we go. So now we can just take our massive tons of sugar cane and plant them. And you can stack them too high like that if you if you want. But why would you? Because they're going to grow. See, you can't even plant on the corners. It just won't let you. So, you know, just remember. It's got to be touching the water. So now... That's going to be a massive little sugarcane fort, dude. That's going to be awesome. So we're going to need some water. That's clay. Yep, there's our clay. So we're going to need water. Let's take some water. Probably need more than one, but whatever. And where are we going to put this pumpkin farm? That's what we need to decide. I could put it like right here. That seems like the optimal choice, but I kind of want to build out in this direction. Sort of like maybe over here. I mean, things are going over there, but I want some stuff going over here, dude. Like next to these guys. Do I build it in a straight line? Well, how many do we have? We have eight. We need we need 12. So let's do a... If we do one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So that's what? That is eight. If we do four more, you know what? We'll just plant these. We'll make a little two by two here. We're going to have extra, but that's okay. Actually, maybe we won't. This might be exactly what we need. So let's plant those there. Let's get our hoe out. Come on, let's hoe it up. Come on. Get our hoe out. We're going to turn this into some fertile farmland, dude. And that little extra guy right there, he's just going to be there for fun, I guess. And let's see how many we have. Let's see here. So we got our pumpkin seeds. We just planted them without any care, rhyme, or reason to it. Steak. 
let's just do this one. Oh, did I not? Do you not get the seeds back when you plant them? You might not, dude. Was that eight? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. You don't. So be careful, dude. Pumpkin seeds are a one-shot deal. I did not know that. So let's go get some water so that starts growing. And then what I'd like to do eventually is bring over some farmers, dude, to sort of till the land, as it were. And you know what? Just to keep this looking a little nicer, we're just going to put some leaves around it. Just so monsters don't accidentally step in it, so we don't accidentally step in it, and we will come back later and fill it in with the wood. But for now, this is gonna be our little pumpkin farm right here. And we're just gonna we're just gonna pop that guy up because that's annoying. Wow, that pump the pumpkin seed thing is a surprise. I did not know that. So now we wait. We should put some torches around the place. Yeah, there already is, but here we'll put some more. We're just going to burn through all the ones we got. Can I make some more right now? Oh, I can. I can make a ton. I'm just going to make a lot of torches. I always keep sticks and coal on me because I use a lot of torches, dude. I use them to keep the monsters out. And a lot of times, I don't even care what the configuration is. It's better to have a field of ugly torches and being alive than, than to be dead. Simple. So there's a piggy boy. Uh, if we used carrots, we could lure him over here, and we need to build a piggy pin. We haven't been doing much mining, but this is kind of the mine. Uh, and that's the cool thing about Minecraft, is you don't actually really need to do a ton of mining, right? I did a ton, like, a little bit off screen, and then a little bit with you guys, and I didn't really need to do much else. Let's pop some more eggs, dude. Ooh. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Behold. All of my chickies. What a nice group. Alright guys, well I think that's it. That's all I wanted to do. Get the farm going, harvest the cane, plant the new cane, show you the house is finished and the stable and the new chicken thing and the farm, and just let you know that life is good, man, and I appreciate all of you for watching. I mean, that totally extends out into um, real life, of course seems kind of silly if you think about it you know how can a video game be like real life but you know how can it not isn't that what we're here to do anyway video games usually fall somewhere between imitation and escapism right and uh a lot of rpg games are all about taking you to another world and they need to maintain that little thread to real life right because it has to be identifiable to most people to me f specifically like if it's an rpg game i will 100 percent always choose a human um and i don't really do sci-fi so i choose what i identify with these pumpkins are gonna be beautiful dude we are ready for the holiday scary you know what we might do is maybe we should build like some kind of sculpture should we take the horse out? Let's take the horse out. We're going to go for a ride while we bid you guys adieu. Let's go, bud. Onward. And you know where we're going to go? We're going to go... I want to go see... Can horses swim? Not very well. All right. Let's go over here. Why not? We haven't really explored this direction, so let's go see what we can find. Let's go see. And we gotta think about what we wanna do now. I mean, the plan is to sort of figure out a design for, oh, it's almost nighttime. That's not good. Figure out a design for the village huts that we want. Oh my God, there's another village right here. This, is the other beautiful oh god be careful bud this is the other beautiful thing about minecraft is uh right around every corner there can be something new and here we have a gigantic well, that's not that big we have a nice looking village over here 
Oh my god, we didn't even explore this way. How cool is that? Okay, here's what we do. We're going to leave our buddy in here. He'll be safe. And we're going to put some fence down. We're going to go find a bed in this town. And then we are actually going to uh, gonna explore it, dude, in the morning. Why not? We're here. How cool is that? We just run around. I'm like, you know what? We're just going to take the horse for a ride. And boom. We find an entire new village. Wow, with some very nice digs. Oh, wow. And this village is getting attacked pretty hardcore. Is this being... This is not raiders, right? Nope, just a lot of zombies. Oh my god, so many zombie villagers. What's going on here? Oh my god, we must save everybody. Are you guys okay? Dude. Everybody good? That was nuts. What do you guys... Oh, you got some beats here? All right, all right. Okay, so this is the part where I go through and I look inside every one of your houses and take. It's a little messed up, but I'm sorry. You know, I could try to dismantle this village. Ooh, it's got a lectern, which means we can have a librarian. Ooh, it's got bookcases, which are great. If we harvest those, we'll get some books for some enchanting. If this place has an anvil, I'm going to poop my pants. Could you imagine enchanting already? An anvil would be awesome. We could take it. We will take it. And if we take it, that means we definitely are going to start working on our village. Oh, I don't want to trade with you, bud. Ooh, maybe I do. Fisherman? Okay, can you can you get out of the way there, sir? Uh, I'm going to break the door down if I see a chest in there. I see a barrel. Which is full of nothing. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I've never been here. I would have remembered, right? I mean, I'm not super smart, but I'm not completely out of my element. Although I did have a caramel apple today. So maybe that kind of messed me up. This looks like uh, evidence of a creeper devastation. So there's the bell. There's more to this place. Let's keep looking around. This is super cool, man. Oh, look at that. They got their own little horse, boys. And, oh, and they have tons of wheat. This village is set up a little weird, though. Sometimes, with the village generation, you're never quite sure what you're going to get. But dang, this place is pretty well off, minus the zombie attack that just happened. But we're just going to pretend that didn't happen for now. What's in here? Oh. Bread. Potatoes. We love potatoes and apple for our horse. We're going to give him that apple because we're nice. And we love our horse. And you know what? We're actually going to take this chest too. Because chests, it's like free wood. I see a point in the future where we come back here and dismantle this place. Where we migrate its entire population to ours. Ooh, is that a mine shaft over there? Look how beautiful this is. What a nice setting. Man, I feel like I kind of made a bad choice where I set my home base. But you know what? That's the choice we made, and that's what we're going to stick with. So let's make sure we don't fall in any holes. We slept in there, so let's go check out these ones. We definitely need to eat now. Thank God we have all our potatoes. All right, horse boy. Eat this apple. This is for you. Thank you for being so nice and hanging out. Uh, I guess I can't feed it to you right now. So I'm not ready to ride you yet. So let's keep moving. I need to go check out these remaining houses here. See if there's any more goodies for us. A lead would be great. If there's a lead, you don't have to live in a cage anymore. Sometimes your villages are quite barren. Although this village, since it just had the attack... I don't think it would be super upset if I left. All right, this chest right... Ooh, is this an iron block? No, I think that's concrete. Smooth stone, okay. 
<gasps> Ooh, two emeralds in here. We know there's a trader in town. I wonder if he's got any good stuff for us. And you know what? There's a little cauldron there. We're just going to take that. I don't really know what we'll use it for, but uh, we'll figure something out. Cool, man. That was some some luck. And sometimes in Minecraft, that is exactly what you need. So one thing I am curious about, if I get on the horse, can I actually jump out of here if I use the big jump? I cannot. I didn't think so. Watch out. Alright, buddy. Hi-ho, silver and such. Okay, you guys should all go home now. Um, I'm just across the way, so if there is any problems, y'all just give a holler. Okay, you guys are hanging out inside. That's fine. This is nice. Uh, did I go in that one? Yep, that's the lectern one. Alright. Let's head back home if we can get there. Come on. Man, they got open mines here. We gotta come this way. For sure. Big oak tree there. I'm super stoked we got this horse. This is gonna let us do some cool stuff just like that. Imagine when we get like the the Woodland Mansion map. Oh man. Hey, there's our house. We get to see it from a new angle. Look how cool that is, dude. We built that. And sometimes in Minecraft, that's good enough. You just kind of come into your place after a long day out on the road, and you're like, this is what I built, dude. This is home, and it feels good. There's just so many layers to this game. Can I, I, can't, I just can't give that boy an apple, can I? Sorry, man. Here, there you go. A little window there. All right, let's go back inside, see the kitties, call it a day. Well, I didn't want to do that, but hey, you know what? It's like a little railing to go in. We'll leave it. Why not? Accidents, happy accidents, Bob Ross style, dude. We're gonna put our potatoes in there because yeah. And then if we take these, see, experience. And I think our next goal should be to build a freaking um. What am I trying to say? An anvil. If we build an anvil, we can... Oh, no, we can't. We need it. Oh, we have an enchanted book. With multi-shot. Great. We don't even use a bow. But if we did, for sure. All right, new kitty that has no name. And Bane. Uh, say hi to everybody. Say hello. Oh, I'm, I'm digging something up there. I don't want to do that. Uh, be good to each other. You know, when we come back... Maybe our pumpkins are gone, or are going, um, I'm not sure what we should do next. I will make it a point to build one villagey house, and it's gonna have like four beds in it. We're gonna steal a bell from one of the villages with two bells, we're gonna bring it here, and then we're gonna figure out a way to get the villagers from that one of those villages that we're close to, to here, to start making our community, man. We'll put some walls around it. It'll be a fun little place. You'll see. I've done this lots of times and building the village part and then actually getting an actual working town from nothing, from this dirt lot that existed, that is really rewarding. And we'll talk about all the different ways to get villagers here and the most efficient way that I've used. Which is going to be a little hard without a lead. So we might need to hunt one of those down. But we'll see. We can probably do it without one. If we're smart. And hopefully we can be. Hey, there's a little sheep boy. Can you stop eating my grass? Get out of here. Don't worry, your day will come. I'm going to build a sheep machine. And I'm going to harvest your wool. Goodbye. And we'll talk about that too later. So uh, until the next one. Be good to each other. And uh, take care.